Hello friends, this is someone once again from Sony Tech and I'm so excited to be back recording videos after being away for some time now. But I'm very excited about this particular series which is the Expo SDK series where I'll be using the documentation side by side to explain some of the component based APIs and SDKs provided by Expo. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, please like this video, please share and comment as well. Jump right in. Um, so um, I have this GitHub repo here called the Expo SDK Tutorial. So you can find all the various models from this series. So um, to get started, just clone this main branch and under each branch has like the video for the day. So we're starting with Expo Secure Store. All right. And once again, as I always see, the documentation is the best place to learn. So um, we'll be using the documentation alongside. And to keep this video very short, I'll be copy pasting some code from my other screen to keep this video short, as I said. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to go ahead and install Expo local authentication and then head over to the Expo Secure Store documentation as well and install this. And we'll be adding this, this to our plugin session. All right, so I've, I've gone ahead and done that already. So you see in my um, package.json i have the expo local authentication and the expo secure store already set up right it's good so in my app.json um i have this plugins thing added here so you see here in my app emulator is disabled because it's an emulator so i'm going to be demo with my actual device and i have the option to choose between face id and my fingerprint i can also use a pin so when i try using my face I get an error and let me just try using my fingerprint on this side here and boom it works so i'm going to um let's try using my pin as well and i can go ahead and enter my pin and i get all right so welcome back um so instead of my app directory um in my layout it's just a minimal provision made by expo i just cleaned it up a bit and my index has this this login screen component which is for my component which has the home similar thing so in my ios emulator and my real um, android device you see login with biometrics just as we have in our login page right so let's begin with our index so let's go ahead and import let's import all a secure store from um, secure store let's go ahead and add some some states so let's add use states and use effects because we'll be needing them but before that so let's do const and check if it's authenticated or it's not authenticated and let's go ahead and accept this i'll be explaining what this is effect and what this check out function here is doing same as this yes check uh, missing corners out function here is doing so uh, we can go ahead and do a check of if it's authenticated or not so now let's import the home screen so here we are just saying that if it's authenticated we want to render the home screen else we want to render the login screen right so um let's proceed and uh, let's proceed to the login screen right okay instead of my login screen i'm going to go ahead and uncomment these guys out i'll be explaining what these guys are doing and let's remove this guy from here and uncomment this as well uncomment this as well okay so um since you're having lots of red and warnings here let's import um let's import all of this and let's also add secure store let's also go ahead and import use states and use effects okay so now let's go ahead and add states for this so we need loading states so since you need loading states here we would of course need an activity indicator just to monitor this and of course an alert okay so great so to get this set up so let's do if let's handle our loading states for now and for we are saying if loading we want to just render a blue activity indicator when i save it's going to give me an error right because um we we've not we've not we've not taken care of this guy okay so that's great so now let's go ahead and start with this function so i'm going to do const check biometric async let me just grab um the piece of code for my other screen just to keep things simple okay so it's also going to be a try and catch block just for 
the best practice since you are using, we are using TypeScript and JavaScript. So let me just fix this here. And this shouldn't be giving us problems. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's great. We don't really need the finally block here, but since we are using like uh, we, are, we are having loading states and all, we we'll, we'll still need to add this, right? All right. So, um, where are we? So let's import this so we don't get issues with this local authentication. This. So we just have to import this. Okay. So um, let me explain what this is happening. So you see how loading Nikita is showing. And for my iOS simulator, it shows gray because of the styling that we added. So we have this combined styling here, which is like the general styling for the button. And then if it's not authenticated, uh, if it's, it's biometric not available, um, we have the disabled styling, which is the gray here. But then when I remove and I show you with my actual device, you see we have it's showing perfectly. Right. Okay. So um, let's proceed and add an interface here so i'm going to do an interface being it an interface or a type and on login success this is going to be your void okay so just as you have here and let me just proceed and replace my own press with our handle login which i'll be working on in a bit so we say const handle login is also going to be an asynchronous function and once again i'm going to copy paste the code and then explain everything all together all right so great let me just grab everything here and replace and then explain what's inside of our check biometric function to us well so now let me import secure stuff from expo okay let me hit stop and hit stop once again so it's not it's not being imported correctly um okay okay so great so now let's let's import or a star star as all from expo secure store so great so now let's break this function down let me make my my window a bit bigger so we have this state which is the is biometric available and the loading state of course so but this we are using the try catch block so we check if it has hardware and if um, it's already enabled or enrolled local authentication okay so we call when i hover over this local authentication um, it has a bunch of methods that we can apply so we have the uh, enrolled async gets enrolled level async and all of that so we are calling this to check this and once we are done with that we combine and set um what our response we get with this to this variable here from our states right and now we catch any error so it's not best process i can i can just set this to any but it's not best practice to do that and for our handle login um, function so instead of the try catch block so we have this result which is await which is it's going to await like the local authentication when i over by it we have this authentication um state async so we have this um, pr um prompt message the cancel label and all of that so here i can just change this to say login lo login dude login to your account okay and it can be used pin use passcode so let me just show you here let me save this i hope my code doesn't break so when i click on this okay since i am using so i don't know if you can see from here because it's for samsung security um, purposes so it doesn't really show this okay so um what just happened was just samsung security related and as i said earlier um, so the screen was blank because they assume that yeah, like you are trying to steal someone's legitimate information or credential. So instead of our handle login, which is our asynchronous function, so we have this const uh, results, and then we await um, this authentic uh, authenticate async from local authentication, which is provided by Expo. It's a method, and you can go ahead and modify this. So once uh, we call results dot success, that is we assume that everything has been successful. So just like we have in async storage and um, local storage, we have the set item and the get item. So we can pass in like more like the key here. And when I over about this, it expects like a key and a string. So this string can be anything. It can be authenticated, it against authentication, success, correct. We use this to do a check later on. And then we log whatever response that we want to log. So um, stored or 
and i will call this on login success which you are passing down to index all right so instead of our index you see this is expecting something so when i press control space bar i can call this and i can call handle um hang, handle login which will be creating in a bit but then um let's let's just create this handle login and let's just create this and i'll explain what this is happening so now let's go to our home screen so similar structure let's give it an interface home screen props and it's going to be same void right and i'm going to put in this um, handle um logout functionality here let me import okay so a similar thing so here to i'm going to call handle logouts here so what is happening here is here too is that inside of our home screen we also await because we saved our auth status here which we have here inside of um using the set item is saying inside of our secure store we can come here then and retrieve it using by this time we are, we are deleting the item async from secure store which is this key which is the auth underscore status and now we can log um console um cleared auth and then we catch any error if you want to right so this is to set the the key and that is to use to remove it so i'm sure you're familiar with like get item and set item there's more to it and then we can come here too as well and control space and this to is going to expect something so now we can do const and so in here instead of our handle login we set it's authenticated to true so this variable here and when we for the handle logout to we set it's authenticated to false okay so now we can go let's save this and instead of our check out this is very important because we need to know what is happening that's how we introduced this use state here earlier so i'm going to go back to my next screen and then grab just a piece of code and then explain just to save some time just to keep this video very short okay so now let me grab everything let's try cards block and then let me paste this here and let me go ahead and import okay so great okay so with our check out function which is an asynchronous function so first and foremost we have this variable which is the auth status and we are wait um secure store this time we are getting that particular key that we set here inside of our login and inside of the delete remember that we are deleting that item okay so this time where's my index once again so we check our secure store more like our storage and now this time we are, we are going to we are saying that let's see if there's anything of this sort is there something like this now we are getting it okay so it's it's passed so now we can log and just get the status so you see now our console here so the auth check is it's authenticated because we set it instead of uh we set it here and now and we need to since we are using this to dynamically render a particular screen so for the set is authenticated state or function we can now set that particular status to authenticated you have to make sure that if you use whatever english you use here should match exactly what is here okay that's why we have the turbo equal to sign of our index and now we can catch any um, um we can catch any error so now um let's let, let's try so when i click on logouts so um it, it takes me back and it says clear or when i click on login with biometrics it's going to of course be a blank screen but then i don't know if you can see here it shows um whether i can use my face id or i can use my pin so guys this is essentially how to set up and add expo local authentication and use expo secure store to manage your um your your, your odd state and token just as we would use local store instead of the browser or um, async storage instead of expo thanks so much for watching this one be sure to subscribe please like this video please share and comment so i know your thoughts bye so you see here in my upper emulator is disabled because it's an emulator so i'm going to be demo with my actual device and i have the option to choose between face id and my fingerprint i can also use a pin so when i try using my face i get an error and let me just try using my fingerprint on this side here and boom it works so I'm going to um, just try using my pin as well, and I can go ahead and enter my pin.
and I 